Well, I am an entrepreneur. I am also a mother and a wife. I run about three companies, and then having my two boys is also another full-time job, and managing my husband's career is another full-time job. What's he doing? Maybe let's bring him to the wall here. Hey, Carter. Hey, you're okay. I was informed by two different pediatricians when Carter was between six and 12 months that he was showing developmental delays and I didn't really want to believe it. I just figured he's moving at his own pace. But around 18 months, we had the results that he is autistic and high functioning. I'm not gonna let you go. <laughs> Tony's story is an extremely beautiful story. He got drafted into the NBA and so far has played nine years. Then finds out he's diagnosed with autism and he's had it his whole life. So it's so powerful for us that our son can grow up in a world where there is no limitations and we just want to pass that on to as many people as possible. Oh, so kind of a lot happened today. Happened? The pediatrician that can even take a look at him won't give us an appointment until September. Yeah. So in the meantime, we'll do an evaluation for the autism diagnosis mm -hmm. just to see where he's at and that's like a nine hour evaluation yeah. and with your schedule and like where what state are you going to be in yeah. they have to stay here mm -hmm. because we have to keep them in their programs so it's a matter of balancing yeah. drinks <laughs> my husband has to be 100 percent basketball and so that means it's my job which I, I don't mind, but to make sure that he stays active with the kids. The kids are brought to the games, the kids are brought to him, and then that we have time, because in order for him to do his job properly, like he has to put his all into that. So it's a real balancing act, but the great outweighs the balancing. I play professional basketball in Lithuania. My son actually went to school in Ukraine right before the Ukrainian war. I have two small children, Carter is six, and Kari is two years old and they're both going to be homeschooled this year. Yes. Hi, Carter. What you doing? Today, I'm going to pick on my snake. Your snake? And I'm going to, uh, yeah. You miss mommy? I miss you guys. Uh, you, you, you want to come too far? Yeah. Can you, can you come here tonight? I don't know about tonight. I decided to homeschool my children because I'm going to potentially be trying out to play basketball overseas again. So I just think the flexibility is something that my family needs at this time. You know, mommy is about to start playing basketball again, Carter. You excited? I've been training. I've been playing basketball. How do you feel about that? Good. Whose games you going to come to, mom or dad's? Both. Ooh, I like that answer. <laughs> I used to be focused on my basketball career just as much as my ex is on his. I played in college, I played professionally, and I also could have played in the WNBA, but I put all of that aside when I had kids. I really want to try to make it back, though. Well, love you guys. Bye, Carter. Bye, Kari. I think being able to balance motherhood and playing basketball is going to be a true challenge. Um, hopefully, me and the father of my children can come together and figure out a way to like co-parent successfully. Hi, Hi, how are you? Oh, good. How about you? you had an oh, appointment good. today? Yes, for an ultrasound. Yep, I see you here. I actually love Orlando because I lived here before my husband played for the Magic. So like, we always plan to move back to Orlando and settle down and like start our family here. So it's just so crazy the timing of this and how everything works and God's timing because it's like I'm literally pregnant and we're moving back to Orlando now. Hi, friend. Hey, girl. How you doing? Good. Thank you so much for coming. Of Appreciate course. you. As you know always. I would not miss it. <laughs> I don't mind being your baby daddy. I appreciate you. Yes. <laughs> Remember I told you I felt the kick? You felt the kick? Oh, I didn't tell you that. Yeah, I felt Already? the kick. Yeah, two weeks oh, ago. Wow. It was like, and I was like, and then I thought about it like, oh, that's you what they say. You are starting to feel like, fluttered. Yes. I missed this. Oh, God. Well, I know that the upcoming best moment will be my gender reveal when I get to find out what my baby is. Like, that's like been my like highlight of everything, just planning that, getting ready for that. So I'm super excited for that. Woo, look at the baby. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh, oh, oh it's the baby. The sign. Whoa. It's so oh, big. Look at it's growing. I cannot believe this. 
Oh, he's looking at you, mama. Look, he's looking oh at you. Oh my God. Oh my God. You should definitely do this when Devin comes here. I know, yeah. I have yeah. so many things to do when Devin comes here. Going through this pregnancy alone can be hard, but I'm happy to have Morgan and some of the other ladies from the basketball world here to support me. It definitely makes some days easier than others. Hey, here, just oh say hi. God. Oh, oh <laughs> hey, baby. Hey, little one. You wave it to your mama. Oh, oh my God. God. It wave back at you to let you know, like, it's we're okay, good. mama. Yeah, we're good. He'll be here when it's time. Yeah. Yeah. I handle motherhood with ease. Uh, they come first with everything, even before business. And if I cannot be there, I have my lucky, 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 lucky granny nanny. I'm so blessed to have my mom in my life and to be able to have her with me at all times and my kids too. I think I put the feet in. You gonna join me, girl? Yes. Oh. It's beautiful. It is beautiful, right? I've been coming to Orlando now for the past few summers and the kids and I just love it here. I'm considering relocating here permanently, not only for a good opportunities for the children, but socially with my friends. It's plenty of business opportunities and as a single mom, that's quite important to me. Is your water gun working? Oh. Ooh. Don't squirt my mama in her face. You're lucky I didn't pack my water gun. <laughs> The hardest thing for me when it comes to being a mother and an entrepreneur is to find that balance. When they're at school, that's my time to work. So even though I do work for myself, it's still like getting up and going into the office. So for me, the hardest thing to find when you're a mom and an entrepreneur is balance. Cece, you want a sandwich? You want grapes? No? <laughs> okay. Well, I have a very interesting dynamic and story with my past relationship and where we currently are today, and then a new relationship I'm in, and then children in the mix. It's a dynamic that I don't think most people see. Do you miss mom, dad, being down here? Yeah, of course. 35 years, that's a long time to be married to somebody. Seeing you and mom, my whole life being married and being best friends and Literally, no matter what the situation is, it's like you guys figured it out together. And it's just like the definition of unconditional love that I've seen from you guys. And I do want that. I'm friends with my baby daddy's new girlfriend and I watch her kid and she watches my kids. Like we're all, we have a very good dynamic and I feel like you don't see that a lot nowadays. It's usually like a stereotype where it has to be beef between the baby mama, the ex, the new girlfriend, whatever. And we've managed to really make it work and it's all genuine. And I feel like it's a really good example to show to the world. So growing a friendship with me, I think is the best moment because, you know, it involves my children's happiness and their life. And anything that benefits my children is like a win for me. I've been very private about this and like keeping it to myself because I really care about this person and like love him. But being here and being around these girls and everybody, it's like people start making comments and being in your business. That's when like, that's when drama happens. I appreciate you listening because I know you don't do drama. Yeah. I mean. If it ain't a Paw Patrol show or something, it ain't happening. <laughs> The best moment I've had so far is throwing my daughter's birthday party and having to have everybody be a part of it. Welcome to Every Baby Land. Oh <laughs> Today is my baby's 12th birthday celebration. So I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure she has the best birthday party and provide it with the best ever. How much is all this cost? Don't worry about the money. I go way more harder for my kids now that the situation has become ugly between my ex and I. So I feel like it is my job to provide them with the stability, the happiness, the mental space that they need. I'm gonna always do that. Look at them. Hey, y'all. Oh, this is lovely. You like hey, this? Yeah. Oh, right. I got a hug. Hey, you have a tough <laughs> I'm also excited that I'll have family and friends in town, so today should be so much fun. Let's eat. Hey, thank you. Happy birthday to Eliola. Happy birthday. Oh, 
my favorite thing about being on this season is really just me being able to own my situation and not get caught up in all the other stuff that's going on because I have a lot going on for myself and I feel like I've been able to protect my energy and I'm very happy about that. Hi, friend. Okay. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> How are you? I just heard you were his. I just sent my cousin to get you a mocktail. Thank you, my very first mocktail. That pond over there is just screaming gators. <laughs> the gators here have me nervous. Yeah, they do pop out. They do. Oh, <laughs> and sure. snakes. My favorite thing about the show has actually been filming with my family and my getting my husband on camera because he's very anti-camera and being able to have that experience so when my boys do get older, like, we have that captured. When I first came onto the platform, I wanted to do um, and show that I was having a positive co-parenting relationship with the father of my children until obviously I come here and find out about what's happening. So, you know, having the world to see, like, me and him navigate that space and hopefully it turns out to be successful will be, you know, a really good pillar for me to step into, you know, trying to offer support to women who are going in um, to spaces being single moms and having to co-parent with athletes and things like that. I think it's important for me to share my story.